Okay. Okay, what we got here is a 04 Astro van, all wheel drive, and we're gonna do the front brakes on it. First thing we're gonna do is take these little plastic lug nuts off. To do this, I just use a socket in my hand. They usually just come right off. If you use tools, a lot of times you'll strip these out, so um, putting them on and off is just a good thing to use your hand. Now, on these Astros vans and all the shitty products, once you get these loose, it just comes off all together. And then you got the lug nuts there. So, so what we're going to do now is take the wheel off. Now, something I like to do is get a screwdriver in there. And I like to pull the master or the caliper over with a screwdriver. That way I know that everything works and all the slides are working. Now, I've already done the front brakes on the other side. And there were some issues over there, so that's why I did film on this side. But this side feels like it's going a lot easier. <clears throat> okay, now that we have that all the way over, you're going to need something like this a T55 um, Torx socket. Because right, you got a bolt here, and you got a bolt down here. The both has got to come out. Now let me see how tight these ones are. And make sure if there's dirt in the head of this bolt right in here, make sure you clean that out and get that socket all the way in because you don't want to start out by stripping nothing. So let me see what I can do here. Okay, I hope you can see this. This is the same as the other side. Um, they're so tight I can't get them out with a regular 3 8 ratchet and that shouldn't be, I'm going to have to use a cheater bar. There's just no reason to tighten these that tight guys. Okay, there's that one, Let's see what this one does. I can say again, make sure that socket seats all the way in there because if you don't get it all the way in there and bottomed out, there's a real good chance you can strip them. Oh. Yeah, that's just way too tight. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is take this caliper off. Once you get them bolts started move, um, turning, you should be able to pretty much do them by hand. Okay? And then, this is the bolt your caliper slides on. So you want to make sure that these are good, clean, and lubed up with a brake lubricant. This is what you got. And see, you got that head there. If you don't get the socket all the way in there, it's easy to strip them out. So, um, okay, now all we got to do now, we got the bolts out. Just pick the caliper up off. Now I want to use two hands because I want to hang this with a piece of wire. Be right back. Okay, I don't know if you can see or not, but see how the inside pad doesn't have so much wear on the outside has a lot of wear. And these pads are in there tight. I can't move it. So that means that these pads are stuck in these on the slides where it slides on the um, caliper bracket itself. So what I'm going to do is take a screwdriver and hit on here and pound these out. Help them out of your way. See, if you gotta take and pound them out of there, then there's something wrong. They should never be that tight. Let's see if I can get this one out. Okay, now see those should slide in there freely. And if they don't slide in there freely when you're putting them in there, then you gotta address there's a little um here let me get this one out and I'll show you. Okay, so there's no reason them should be like a 
So now what you want to do, there's a little clip here, and you want to get this clip off of there. Okay? And this goes with pretty much a lot of the disc brake systems will have it like this. Here's your little clip, and it doesn't look that dirty in here, but you want to clean here. You want to make sure that this clip is clean. There's one on the bottom too, and also the surface that the clip goes on because that clip goes up over top of this here. So if there's rust and scale build up in between these, it'll hold this down and the brake pads won't um, slide properly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the other clip off and I'm going to clean the two of them up and clean this surface up really good. And then I'll be back. Okay, now I'm using regular brake lube and I want to just get a little bit on my finger and put on here. And make sure you get this bottom here where the thing's going to slide into. I'll show you that clip. <clears throat> See that clip touches right here. The bottom of this clip right here touches this flat right here. So you got to make sure that all this is clean, no scaly stuff, everything. So you want to make sure it fits. So I'm going to put a little bit of grease on there. Um, I'll dab just a little bit under here. You don't want a whole bunch of this stuff because you don't want it to be a buildup of it and not be able to settle down. You just need to barely, barely, barely coat it and try not to get it all over the rotor and stuff. So you got one side of this is longer than the other, wider, right here by these clips. So you got to put them back on that way. See, I don't have much grease at all in there. I don't want to build up of it to get stuck up in there. But you got to make sure that these clip down over. There you go. You want to make sure that they're seated all the way down in, because that's what's going to let your brake pads slide in there freely. So let me get the top one on, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but trying to put that top pad in there, it doesn't move freely, and now I got it stuck in there. So I'm going to have to do the same as I've done to the other, and I'll take the pad back out, and um, oh, take the pad out, and I'm going to have to, um, where they coat these and all, there's like a little ridge there, and there's little casting marks. So I'm just going to barely grind that off until I can make this slide, slide in there freely. Yeah, I started to put just a little film of grease on there, but I don't know if you can see there where I just barely ground it. I mean, you're not taking material off as much as just be deburring it and stuff. You want to take as little off as you can to make it slide, because like I say, you don't want to be loose in there, bouncing around. So I'm going to slide just a little bit of um, grease on there where I ground, and then I'll put my orange coating on the back. Um, I know a lot of people don't use the anti-squeal stuff for the back um, this stuff right here it comes in a spray bottle also and different things that's what the liner on the back is supposed to be for but I can't see where it hurts and then you know if it does start to squeal or something at least I know I done what I could when I did it to make it not squeal so let me um, let me grease the ends of these and get that on there then I'll bring you back. Okay, I don't know how much you can see, but see these pads slide freely now. So that's what you want. You want them to be able to slide back and forth freely. You don't want them to um, be in there tight because they got to slide when the caliper slides and they got to be able to come back out and release. I got that caliper loose on slide over. Now these, you want to make sure you get these rubber boots in. You don't want them to roll over or nothing. So. I can do this one handed here. Oh. Okay, so what I do when I get them started, oh. I know you ain't gonna be able to see this probably. But I, can you see how that rubber boot's busted back in there? I just, I get them started in there every way you can. It's easier when you got two hands. Okay, so now that that's on there, the next thing we gotta do is put the bolts in. But, I also want to take, and I want to grease this shaft a little bit. Okay, this is pretty much what I like to do. Um, some people like to use never seize. I don't. I use a regular brake, brake caliper grease. I don't know where the label is. It doesn't matter what brand you get. 
Um, a lot of people use never seize. I don't like that because a lot of times never seize gets around something rubber. It'll um, eat it up and make it stick. So let me get these other two bolts, this other bolt started in here. Okay, now I've got these in there snug. You just, you just want to make them snug. Don't over tighten these. Just make them snug, really good and snug. And that's all you need. Now, if you make sure you don't get no grease or nothing on there, I like to just spray a little bit with the um, brake clean. And then I'll um, rotate this. Now remember also, you push these calipers back. So the first time you go to um, use the brake pedal, it's going to be soft. So don't just get in and you pump the brake up. And then with this kind of a master cylinder lid, when you go put it back on, you want to push these back up in place because when you hit the brake pedal and the fluid goes up and down this is what allows for the fluid that goes in and out of the master cylinder so make sure you have them on there and just clip them back on yeah there's a four clips on the side here you just gotta make sure they're all clipped on there <laughs> 